welcome. And thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread evening meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin our reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. His name is majestic. His glory fills the earth. Come and give him your praise and adoration this evening. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me through another day of ups and downs and allowing me a little time to connect with you. Please meet with me tonight as I listen to your word. Please encourage my heart and illuminate my mind with your truth. I open my heart to you now as I listen to the scripture. The psalmist says in Psalm 8 verses 1 to 4, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies, to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. There is a delightful charm in having a conversation with a very young child. They are honest, but sometimes a little confused. They misspeak often with adorable results. Their brains are just developing the ability to express their thoughts. Yet it is through the praise of such unimpressive lips, says the psalmist, that God's enemies are overcome and silenced. Even the tiniest child is made in the image of God. Every human is his highest creation. Isn't it comforting to know that God doesn't need us to be clever, skilled or qualified in order to glorify him? We could be as simple and unsophisticated as a toddler and still take our stand with the Lord against supernatural enemies. Simply belonging to God is a powerful witness, a clear ringing trumpet blast against the lies of the enemy. 
our sometimes uncertain praises still rise to the heavens and exalt the majestic Lord of all creation. Perhaps you don't feel very clever, experienced or qualified to do anything great in God's kingdom. Just praise him. Just tell him you love him, you trust him and you will follow him wherever he leads. Your praises ring out through the heavens and glorify the Lord. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now into the sanctuary of your heart where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in and out. And in and out. And in and out. Let's pray. Who am I, Lord, that you should even notice me? And yet, you have brought me into your family. You have blessed me with new life in Christ, and I want to praise you for who you are and all you've done for me. Dear God, may the simple praise I offer you build that stronghold against your enemies. The psalmist continues in Psalm 8 verses 5 to 9. You have made mankind a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, Help me to praise you in every situation. You are good and faithful, even when I can't see it. You are majestic and powerful, 
You are mighty to help your people in any struggle. Thank you, Lord. Please help me to rest and sleep well tonight. Amen. Amen.